Back in other news, apparently cooking more could help you live longer. A new study by the University of Iowa showed people who ate out at least twice a day had a significantly increased risk of dying sooner. Experts say although many restaurants offer healthy choices, the dietary quality is usually lower compared to those meals you would cook at your own home. And then you get tempted by like cheeseburgers and french fries. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. When you're at home, you can control what's in front of you. When you're at a restaurant, you start looking at that menu and it's like, oh, this salad. Start looking at other people's plates. Look at I that. know you do it, Ham. <laughs> yeah, I do. I know you do it. I do. <laughs> All right, if you're holding a grudge this morning, just let it go. That's because it's making things worse for you. Psychologists at the University of Miami say the longer negative emotions linger in your brain, the unhappier you will be in the long term. And that unhappiness can spill over into other parts of your life and make you grumpy overall. You're better off trying to move on and focus on the good. Forgiveness is a big key to happiness, I think. Amen to that. Totally agree. Yeah. Those people certainly don't look happy. Brush it off your shoulders. <laughs> Goodness. Because they're the holding a grudge, Russell. What, what's the big news <laughs> on Tinder these days? Well, yeah. Tinder says mentions of go on a date hit an all-time high over the past few weeks, and Lyft's weekly ridership volume is skyrocketing. So the two apps are teaming up, allowing Tinder users to book their dates, a Lyft ride, directly through the Tinder app. There's no timeline for when the feature will be live, but we are told it's in the works for a post-pandemic world. Mm. Very interesting. It's all linking together, huh? <laughs> Look at these. I know that's so crazy, right? No. Nope. <laughs> nope. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, gee. All right.